Hey guys, this is Matt Kazanolan with our 8th iPhone programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a UI view that you can drag around the screen. And I'm going to be showing you two ways to do this. One way you'll understand, it's pretty simple, and the other way is a bit more complicated and it, it'll make more sense later when you learn other stuff, but for now you're just going to have to go along with it. So I'll go into Xcode and create a new project. Um, I'll do it this way. I'll create a view-based application and I'll call it Simple Dragging. Alright, and what we're going to do is have the user drag around the UI view and change where it is using their finger. We're going to have an IV outlet UI view and we'll call it My View. And I'll set this, out, set this up in Interface Builder. Uh, and then we'll have to use Interface Builder again later when I show you the other way, but for now I'll just set this up in Interface Builder. So I'll make the size, a nice number, like 100 by 100. And I'll center this. And this is the view that they're going to be able to move around. It's just a white, white box, pretty much. Okay. I'll leave interface builder open. So here's what we're going to do. In the view controller, here's the dot H. We're not declaring any ID actions or anything. But in the dot M, we're going to be writing code. This is kind of like view did load, how we don't declare the method. We just It just gets called magically. There's a method called touches moved, which has these arguments which gets called whenever the user moves their finger. So let's put an NS log in here. Set this up. And every time I, I move my finger around the screen, you should see it says moved, no matter where I touch. As you can see, right there. So I'm dragging my finger. When I move my mouse without dragging, it doesn't say move. Alright, so now that we know that this gets called every time they drag their finger along like it should, we can get the point that they touch. And to do this, we say CG point touch point equals touches any object location in view self dot view. Let's break this down. Touches is an NS set. That is like an array. It's a list. Uh, it's an unordered list. And any object just gets uh, the first object that it can find in the list. And so basically, touches any object will give us the touch, the UI touch of their finger. If there are multiple fingers, then we shouldn't call any object. But for this, it's fine. Then when we get location and view, we're asking for, all right, I want to know the point where their finger is in this view. And for the view, we're passing self.view because this is a UI view controller and it has a dot view property. So now we're going to say my view set center touch point, just like we can move it to any point. We're doing that here. And now if we run this, I can drag my finger and what do you do? It follows it. But there are a couple problems. First of all, if I start dragging from the corner, all of a sudden it moves to the center. If I start dragging here, all of a sudden it moves here. So it doesn't. We're not pulling it. It's jumping to where we're touching. And that could seem good to an iPhone user who has a big finger and can't really tell what's going on. But for us on this computer, it doesn't look the best. And I, to be honest, I don't like it this way very much. So there's a more complicated way that involves objects, where you can create an object that allows you to move this around. And I'm going to be showing you that. Uh, I can't really explain it to you guys yet, but you'll understand it uh, later. So we're going to go to new file, just like we're creating a new view controller. But instead, we're going to create a new Objective-C class and make it a subclass of UI view. And so here we're creating a custom view, and I'll call it drag box. Okay. And in the global variables of this, as you can see, it's a UI view, not a UI view controller. Anyway, in the global variables, we're going to have a CG point, which is our start point. And this is going to be the place in the square where they touch. So if they touch the top left corner, it'll be 0, 0. It'll be 100, 100, um, 0, the, the, yeah. So uh, that's what this is going to be. So the way we set this in here, when they start moving in our UI view, we can also, in this UI view, implement touches move. And if you'll notice, I'm editing drag box that I'm not the view controller that I'm. And here I'll make a CG point center equals touches any object location in view self. And I'll just say we don't even need to declare this, we can just say start point equals that. 
And there we go. Now, here's the thing. When they move their, their finger on, on our custom view, it's going to set the start point to where they are. We want to set the start point when they start, when they touch in the view, and then when they move it, we'll, we'll use that. So, in touches began, where we're going to put our magic. So this is touches began, we're setting this. Now in touches move, we're going to use that. So, we know where their finger started. We're now going to get a CG point, new point, equals touches, any object, location in view, self.superview. Now, if we move this, let's say we started dragging from the top left corner. If we moved it so the top left hand corner, which is the X and the Y, was this then it would look fine. But if we started dragging from here, then we would be dragging it, and all of a sudden, its top left corner would be here. So, what we're going to do is offset it by our start point. So we're going to say new point dot, dot x minus equals start point dot x. And new point dot y minus equals start point dot y. And now we're going to say cg rect frm equals self frame frm that origin dot that origin equals new point and we're going to say self set frame frm and now if we do this we just go ahead and run this uh, nothing will change and you might be thinking well why do I write all this code uh, in here if I don't even know how to use it because you just wrote this code in UI view, but you didn't write it in your view controller, so what's going to change? And the answer to that is you have to use this. And in order to do that, first you have to import dragbox.h, which is your custom view, and then you're going to make a new IB outlet for it. And we just create our own data type called dragbox, and we'll call it my drag. Okay? We're not going to do anything with it because the code is already written in there. We can go back into the interface builder file, glad I left it open. Center this, or center this, and then center it again. How about this is going to be a drag box? So this is not outletted. This is okay. So this is a drag box. Let's outlet it. I don't. We don't really need to outlet it, but I'm outletting it anyway. So now, if we run it, I'm quickly going to change it to the different signal there. If if we go ahead and run this then when we click and drag anywhere, this one will move with us. When we click this one and move it, it'll move by wherever we drag it. So if we click it in the bottom right, it, it, we're dragging it by there. It doesn't jump to the center. We can drag it from the center, but we can also drag it anywhere else, and it'll work fine. So uh, it's slightly smoother UI. If we get rid of this, then this will be standalone. Uh, here we go. And obviously, if you put these over each other, this one's on top, it's hard to tell, because they're both white. But, yeah, so that is um, how to make views movable. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to save the location of views using user defaults. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm already giving you a clue in the last video. Um, but, anyway, uh, that's how to make things movable and draggable uh, for the iPhone. So, thanks for watching Mac Digital 1. Subscribe, and goodbye.